Welcome back to Sweet Beat TV. I'm your host, Caitlin Fashe, and today I'm joined by Keydron Bryan. Hey, how are you? I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Glad to hear it. Well, we have a lot to talk about, Keydron, because earlier this year you released I Just Wanna Live, and it was such a powerful song. It made a huge splash. So I wanna know, were you expecting that kind of viral response when you first released the song? No, ma'am, I did not expect that viral like response just like just blown up like that. I did not, I, I, I was really surprised when it did, but um, I was just really, when it happened, I was really grateful and thankful that I had the opportunity. I love that. It's always awesome when you hear people are thankful for what's come to them. It's That's really cool. And you actually just got signed with Warner Records and are releasing your debut EP, coming up around the corner. So what can fans expect to see from this debut EP? Um, they can expect to see a lot of motivational songs, just a lot of songs that make you feel good inside your soul and just um, lift you up when you're down and just put a smile on your face. So um, just stay tuned for just a lot of amazing songs that you'll be listening to. Yes, we can't wait. And I know that your mom actually wrote I Just Wanna Live. So did she help you write some of these songs for this EP or how did it all come together? Um, well, yes, my, my mom wrote I Just Wanna Live and that was just one of the best collaborations I ever did. And then Warner Stein, but they have um, writers that, that write for me and like, like songs, like some people in the studio, like me, my mom, my sister, we like mainly the whole team just helps out on some like little lines or just something else to say. So it's kind of like a, like just like a collab that we just all do. A big collaboration, everyone's brains come together. Yes ma'am. Yeah, that's awesome. And you have performed for some pretty awesome people on some pretty awesome stages. You actually opened up for the 2020 BET Awards, which is so exciting. So I wanna know, a year ago today, could you picture yourself performing everywhere you are, doing what you are now, going viral? I've always really wanted to be a recording artist. I wanted to be traveling around the world and singing to people, ministering to people. But I never knew that it was gonna be like right now. Like God just like, just turned it around. Like he was like, okay, I'm starting your career just right now. And I was just really surprised. I just always knew that I was going to be a singer, but I didn't know when it was gonna come. I didn't know when it was going to like, blow up, but I guess this was a season for it. I was gonna say the best things happen when you least expect them. And Keydron, you have had some really cool people recognize you and your music. President Barack Obama, LeBron James, just to name a few. So what is your reaction when you first found out that these huge people were recognizing you and your music? I will, first, I was surprised. And second, like I was, this like especially when like Barack Obama posted it but I was really surprised when everybody just started like sharing it and just resharing it and like it like like everything just everybody that um reshared it it was really really just really surprising but I'm I was just really thankful and grateful for um what I got to even have the opportunity to do that and what type of message that I was getting out there thank you again for joining me Keydron Thank you so much for having me. Yes, you guys at home, once again, make sure you're streaming his EP and make sure you're giving this video a thumbs up, subscribing to Sweetie High, and dropping a comment down below. I'm Caitlin Fashe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Awesome, Keydron, thank you, you were so fun. Thank you, thank you for having me.